All right, welcome back to another Angular event tutorial. In the last video, we talked about the mouse over and mouse out events and how you can use them to display things when hovering over something. And you can do other things. You don't have to just hide and show something. But that was the example that I went with at the time. And today we're going to talk about what if we want to do something if a user clicks a specific key on their keyboard. And one of the examples I saw why you might want to use this, if you have an input field and the user hits enter, what if you want something to happen when the user hits enter while in the input field? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe. You guys have really been killing it recently. We're getting closer and closer to a thousand, which is my ultimate goal. And if you're wanting to learn Angular from the very beginning, I do have the Angular Tour of Heroes tutorial, its own playlist here on my channel that you can go check out, in which we just go over the Tour of Heroes tutorial that you can find on Angular's website together and make it a little more fun than just doing it on your own and probably forgetting it in a year like I did. So I pretty much relearned Angular and uh, so will you if you're new to that and watching that playlist. And uh, yeah, so if you like this, don't forget to hit subscribe and let's talk about events when clicking a specific key. So I found this nice website and here's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using this event called key down and then you can do dot whatever key that you're listening for. So if you're wanting the enter key, like I'm going to show you, you can just use key down dot enter as the event or you can do key down dot tab, key down dot alt, and then all of the Letters, you can just do dot A, dot B, so on, and all of the numbers and arrows and function keys. So let's do an example, and maybe I should show what we did in the previous video just so you know what's going on. So not a whole lot went, went on in the last video other than me showing the mouse over. So if we put our mouse over this button right here, it says hover over me, this pug picture comes up. And then if we move our mouse away from the button, you can see it goes and disappears. And then the way that's happening is we have this method called show pick, and then we pass in either true or false, and that will set a property called show image. And then the image has this ng if directive, and it says if it's true, we'll show this pug image. So let's do something uh, very similar. I am going to put some input in here, and it's going to be text, and then let's have that key down event. So key down and then dot enter for this example. And then what are we going to do when this happens? We're going to do show pick true. And maybe we should do another one just to make show pick equal to false so we can uh, display the image and then hide the image. So maybe I should do um, key down dot h, I, mean, I guess for hide. So in this case, we're going to run show pick and pass in false. And I'm going to put a break right here, so we're not right up against the button. Let's go check out this. And now we have this input, and if I hit the Enter key while focused in this input, uh, we show the pug, and then if I hit the H key, you can see the pug disappears. Now, this is only specific to this input. If I click out here and I hit Enter, of course the pug is not going to show, but maybe that is what you're going for. You are you don't really care what they're focusing on in the web page. You just want, if they press this key, do this. Maybe it's something fun like an Easter egg in your website where you're like, hey, if you do this, hit this specific key that usually people don't hit, uh, I'll show something fun. I don't know. So let's talk about how you can easily do that. I found some different ways that you can do that, but this is the easiest that I found. And what we're going to do is right before the key down dot enter, I'm going to say window colon key down dot enter. So now it's not just specific to the input, and we'll see that here in a second. You can actually be anywhere in uh, this web page. So I'm going to click right here. I don't think you guys can really hear me click. Maybe you can, um, but just know I'm clicked over there. I'll hit enter, and now the pug displays. But if I hit H for hide, nothing happens. And that's because we didn't add that window colon to the key down dot H. So let's do the same thing. Window colon recompile. And now everything should work as we expect. So I'm clicking anywhere in the web app or on the web page. Hit enter. Here's the pug. I hit H. Now it disappears. So there's a few different things you can do. You can make it specific to just this element in HTML or 
you can actually make it uh, bound to the whole window, this event. So it's kind of up to you and how you see this being used. But that is the key down event. And uh, yeah, that's how you can you can handle those kind of things if you're interested in Angular. So if you like this, like I said, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hopefully you learned something new out of this. And I keep uh, looking for different things in Angular to make content about. So stay tuned for that. And I hope to see you in the future.